This technology that we're talking about today is a powerful technology, but if you're going to raise money in America, you need to follow our securities laws. The defense I didn't know is no longer really viable. Really excited to be here at Consensus Invest. We just had a fantastic panel on there. Uh, we had Glenn Hutchins who joined me right here, the chairman of North Island, co-founder of Silver Lake. And then we have SEC chairman Jay Clayton. It's just wonderful to have you both here. There's a lot of uncertainty in the space. People don't really know what's happening in terms of security regulations. So it was just great to have some, some clarity on, on stage. I just want to start off by saying you mentioned a disclaimer at the start, you know, what you were saying are your opinions and, and and, uh, thank not you. representative thank of something. Thank you. That makes it easy. My, my views are my own and not those Absolutely. of the commission. Do you want to just go over some of the things that you mentioned on stage, some of the, the main points there? Well, I think the two main points are this technology that we're talking about today is a powerful technology that has many applications we've seen and probably many more that we haven't seen. Uh, but if you're going to raise money in America, you need to follow our securities laws. And the reason I came here today at Glenn's invitation was to try to explain how to comply with our securities laws in this, in this new space. Mm -hmm. And it is a new space. It's very unclear for a lot of people because it's a completely new technology. A lot of people, they do try to skirt regulations by using the term token. And, and you've mentioned this in, in press releases before. Have you found that as well, that they, they use the word token to try and bypass uh, being regulated? Well, what I would say is that um, in the 1820s, not far from here, we were argue, they were arguing at the, under the buttonwood tree at the stock exchange what a security was. Uh, it was a new kind of way of, of making, doing something new, which is investing in an enterprise that you didn't control yourself, that wasn't a product of your work. The, the, a token is a very similar kind of thing. It's a brand new kind of security or means by which you participate in the profits of an enterprise. So the role of the, I think a lot of people in this audience today were quite impressed by how Jay has articulating the role of the SEC of doing two things simultaneously, which can be done simultaneously. One is to enforce the securities laws, particularly with respect to fairness to investors. And the second is to encourage innovation. And those two things can work together just the way the securities laws and the stock exchanges have done in the past. And they're not, they're not at all contradictory. And I'd like to pick up on something that Glenn said, which is this was, in the late 1800s and then through the 30s and 40s, a new form of funding enterprises, funding them on a broad basis, you know, collecting investments from people you had no connection to. You know, we, we take that for granted today, but one of the reasons we were able to build that system is we, we provided those people who had no connection to the enterprise other than investing, we provided them with the protections that are in our securities laws, including audited financial statements and remedies in the event people don't tell them the truth. I would say, look, it's message to the digital currency community. It is extraordinarily important that it work within the guidelines and boundaries set by regulation not just the SEC, but also we talked about the banking laws around anti-money laundering, around know your customer, around terrorist financing, the, um, uh, the, regu the regulatory structures concerning um, uh, consumer, customer fairness as a consumer of your enterprise, you know, the, the, uh, com um, the FTC kind of rules. The, the, uh, the, 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 uh, all of this needs to be brought into one of the, uh, a key definition of the industry so that it can flourish. In other words, if it works within good regulatory boundaries, it can be a very, very important industry. Mm -hmm. To the extent you try to operate outside of that, it will be a major inhibitor to its growth. One of the things that I've seen in the space is when the uh, SEC first started putting out information about what was the security and giving out warnings, it started off with sort of a slap on the wrist, you know, there was a, a message about the Dow saying, yes, this is a security, uh, just to let everyone know. And then since then, you have the Munchie case, you have uh, lots of different ICOs, and it seems that the SEC may be getting more stern in its uh, relationship with the ICOs that try to skirt regulation. What should we expect in 2019 if people continue to... Uh, be, exist outside the SEC's uh, jurisdiction or try to? Let me, let me say it this way. I think that events like this, our actions, the messages that we've provided to the marketplace, 
the the defense I didn't know is no longer really viable. So uh, people should be careful there. Um, and then to wrap up now, uh, just to talk about the tech in general. So we're looking at. A, being able to decentralize trust and decentralize commodities and decentralize corporations and we have this entirely new model for structuring organizations, structuring currency, structuring financial institutions. I do wonder if you know we'll see a future where things are so decentralized that you know maybe the SEC won't be able to, to control it. Are you worried about that at all? No. <laughs> no. Right. Well I really, really appreciate you being here and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, nice to be here. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. I also have a Patreon account and wanted to give a special shout out to all the awesome people there. And a huge thank you to the sponsors of the show for making these videos possible. Thanks so much for watching. She used to just party.